I'm sure you know about the memes surrounding the ethical debate of our times. Can a hundred untrained human beings take down a silverback gorilla? I'm here to answer that question using physics. Let's establish some stats here. The average silverback gorilla is about 195 kilograms, and the average human is about 80 kilograms. So a hundred of them would mean、uh, we are working with a collective weight of 8,000 kilograms. Considering Newton's second law, which is force equals to mass times acceleration, an object will have a greater acceleration if the object has a lower mass, or if the force pulling or pushing the object has a greater magnitude. Let me put this in simpler terms. If I, as a singular entity, was to push a car, the car won't move. But if there were a hundred of me with the same body structure, the force applied by us onto the car will cause the car to move. Contrary to the memes, where the strategy is to fight the gorilla one by one till it tires out, which is. Funny to say the least. My strategy here is to choreograph a coordinated pin down using the concept of momentum, which is mass times velocity. So the gorilla's momentum is 195 kilograms times the average charging speed of a silverback, which is 10 meters per second approximately. So that gives us 1,950 kilograms times meters per second. Then a human's momentum, which is 80 kilograms times the average charging speed of one human, which is approximately 8 meters per second. So that gives us the momentum for one human, which is 640 kilograms. Times meters per second. So for a hundred humans running towards a gorilla, their momentum will be sixty-four thousand kilograms per meters per. No, sixty, sixty-four thousand kilograms times meters per second. Jesus. If we analyze an inelastic collision where the hundred humans pin down the gorilla, the equation we're working with is initial momentum equals to final momentum. So our initial momentum would be 1,950 in the right side where the gorilla will be, and then plus negative 64,000 where the humans will be in the left side. So yeah, that's a whole thing in physics. Just to denote direction, and then the final momentum would be 195 plus 8,000 times the final velocity. Now we don't know the final velocity, so we just have to use normal algebra and just take the 195 plus 8,000 and take it to the other side, solve them, and、uh, we are left with a final velocity of negative 7.57. So the negative value denotes the fact that the humans will be able to overcome the gorilla's strength, and they'll be able to pull it towards their direction. Another thing that we have to look into is to prevent the gorilla from breaking free by taking advantage of friction. The formula is given by the coefficient of static friction, which in this case will be 0.6 if we are pinning the gorilla down in a large grassy area multiplied with the normal force. Now, how do we take out the normal force? Easy. We simply multiply the weight of the gorilla with gravity. This means that the gorilla has to overcome a frictional force of 1,150 newtons before it could start wriggling around. But it still needs to overcome the force of the humans holding it down. So, considering that a human can push and pull with about 300 newtons of force, the gorilla wouldn't be able to break free from the force exerted by even 10 humans. Again, this is a very theoretical situation, and I'm not saying that because when will a situation arise where a hundred humans will ever get to fight a silverback gorilla? People, the times are changing. Okay, practically, it's extremely difficult to coordinate a hundred humans in a straight line to strike down a gorilla. The Roman army would spread out their soldiers with the expectation of each soldier、uh, taking down five rival soldiers during war. I could be way off with that count, though.、Um, so I thought of another scenario where the humans sacrifice twenty of their people to feel the freshly baked wrath of the gorilla and tire it out as a result. The reason for that is because gorillas have fast twitch muscles, which is great for punching in flashing speeds, but not so great when it comes to endurance. I'd still say, even with this scenario, the humans still have a fighting chance. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know your strategies and other things you would do differently from what I did. I'll bid you another farewell from the.、Oh, come on. I'll see you next time.